to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Styles and Rosenberg. Ebro in the Morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg. We are remembering and honoring the name of our brother Chinks. We have Chinks' wife, Janelli. How are you this morning? We also have Biggs with us today. How are you, sir? Good, sir. How are you? Good. Um, Hip Hop Homicides airing on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, episode about Chinks. Janelli, uh, I'd love to start with you and, and hear more about this episode and so people could tune in and, and everything that's going on with Chinks and his estate and the family and everything. Right. So, um, yeah, so we did the show with uh, Van Lathan. It's a couple of us, his mom, his manager, Biggs, myself, um, his oldest daughter, um, is in it, my daughter, um, his mom, his brother, um, and it basically just touches base on everything that's been going on within a couple of years within the case, his music, um, that's how we're dealing with everything since the passing of him in um, 2015. Mm. Um, I'm excited for it. Um, I think it just touches more on the questions that people have ex as far as regarding the actual case. Um, it's been quiet for quite some time since COVID. So. And so, wait, I, I was under the impression, Janelli, that some people were arrested around this and people were jailed around this. Yes. Um, there were two suspects that were held accountable for this. Unfortunately, they were incarcerated already on other previous um, crimes. So they were going through that first. So we had to wait for that to finish in order to proceed with this case with Chinks. And then COVID hit, which shut the courts down. So we were at a standstill for quite some time. And where are we now? Um, it's still going. There hasn't been an indictment yet um, because of COVID shutting down and then their previous cases still in works. Um, one of them is on a federal charge. So until the federal case is closed, they can't proceed with the state case. And do you guys believe, given what you know, do you do you believe they have the right guys? Like, do you think this? Do you do you believe you know who did it personally? Um, I'm confident that okay. they have the right people. All right, Biggs. What about you? Yeah, 100. percent Okay. It's um, it's crazy because leading leading up to to the event, if you look at the chain of events, I don't want to give too much away for the story because you know, obviously, we want people to tune in and get get the full full story, but. The things leading up to the event and how the circumstances transpired, it's like, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty, and we're like, right. wow, you know, so the, the way that, you know, things just kind of unfolded, it was just like, it was unbelievable. Um, I, You know, this airing on Thanksgiving Day, I have to imagine for the family of, you know, Janelli and, and children and moms and everybody that has been affected by this, it's going to be an emotional uh, Thanksgiving. Um, how have you been doing just living life and taking care of the family, Janelli? Um, it's definitely going to be emotional. I think the whole recording was emotional. It was very emotional. Um, especially this is the first time that my daughter is actually speaking on um, the passing of her father since everything happened. Um, but overall, I mean, I'm just doing what I have to do. Right. It, there's, there's nothing more to it. Like I go, I'm at work right now. <laughs> I had to step away for a little while just to do this. But um, yeah, just working. I have the catering business that I do on the weekends. Just taking care of the kids. Everybody's growing, getting older, you know. And I just have to stay flowing. It's it's, it's nothing more I can do but to just make sure that we continue to carry on his legacy and hold the family down. And and looking back on these last several years of everything that you and the family and even you bigs have been through, uh, do you guys feel like our local New York City hip hop community was was there for you guys in the right way and, and you felt supported? And, and moving forward, uh, how, how can people continue to support you guys and support the, the memory of Chinks? Well, I mean, Looking at the, the the family and everything that they went through, I I kind of got a, a, a unfortunate bird's eye view from everything from being the person to have to call Janelli to tell her what happened because the police officers first called me to have it to speak to his mom and going to Rikers Island to to see his brother. And what I will say about New York is um, 
I think the the immediate family, the first thing was actually shock because we didn't know where it came from. So for New York, I think it was more us being on our P's and Q's and, and everybody was suspect. Right. You know, and then once we got past that, it was just like, now nah, we got to bond together. And I mean, I see his kids on a regular basis and, and do everything that I can to make sure that Janelli is good and held down. But I mean, with music, I don't I don't think Chinks got a shot. I definitely feel like he was cheated right. in that regard because he was a budding star. Um, and you had to know him to appreciate his relationship. If you look at his page now, we have a picture with 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 um, with Offset. We had a picture with Nipsey Hussle and we had a crazy outpouring when he passed. But I think it's only now because we continue the legacy. We try to make sure that we're putting music out. We're doing things that maintain the integrity of what he stood for, that people are now starting to realize like, oh, wow, this, this, <laughs> this kid was dope. Yeah. You know, and he, he, he put New York on his back for a period of time and was definitely doing all that he could to hold the city down. I th- no, and I think, I think you're right, Big. Sorry, keep going. And, and and I think that's what this project is going to show because it's, it's definitely it feels current. You can feel the spirit of him all over it. You 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 feel what he represented and what he stood for. So you guys right. you guys dropped a project right after he passed, which had like on your body, which I thought if he was around, I think could have been a huge right. Yeah, I thought that was a huge tune. Yeah. Um, so lo- Chinks Drug Six drops when December second. December second, yeah. two days before his birthday. So Janelli and Biggs, both you guys. So were there? Some, are there some songs on this one that you like? We're holding on to to be like, hey, we want to wait and make this a special. You, you want to have it impact as much as possible. Yeah, 100%. yeah, definitely. I think, um, like he said, when when you hear it, it sounds current. Like he's still here. It's still within the times that we're in. It doesn't sound like it's outdated. It doesn't sound like something that's old, that's no longer on the radios. Like it's it's very much very diverse. Um, and we have some features on there that I think everyone is going to appreciate. Um, I have a few of my favorites that we were holding on to that I can't wait for them to come out. I'm like, release it now. And he's like, no, oh, wait. <laughs> Just because I know that it's, um, it's what everyone's been asking for. I mean, they've been blowing my DMs up since 2015 for this release of the Cocaine Riot Editions. Um, and people have been asking for this for the last seven years. So I think it's highly anticipated and it's it's going to be received well. Um, was, was last week um, the murder of takeoff I imagine that when every time this happens, Janelli, it's triggering for you. Like besides being it sad is. for the person, but yeah, how hard is that when you hear about that? It is from Nipsey to PMB Rock to Take Off. Yeah. Um, they, it's triggering. It's very triggering, especially um, them three. It's like you don't when you don't hear somebody's name and drama, you don't see bad news circulating around mm-hmm. them. Um, they're very humble, very. Um, off the radar as far as the drama goes and then you hear something like this it, it hurts it hurts um when you think about their wife and their kids and everyone who's now affected by the loss who just can't understand why like why did this have to go this route um it hurts i i've been commenting on the takeoff situation since it started and i made a few posts about it but it's really it's a traumatizing event that when you go, when you see this happening again and again and again, it triggers you all over. It, it's hard. Are you, are you guys at least, have you both, I, I imagine at this point you've both seen the show that's airing on Thanksgiving. Have, have you seen it enough that Thanksgiving won't be incredibly jarring like you've seen it all or, or no? No, you know, that's the crazy part. We haven't seen it at all. Oh, wow. So you really are going to consume it with the rest of us. Yeah. Yes. We have, I have not seen a single snippet, so I have no idea what was, what's in it, how it was edited, who, I I have no idea. So you guys are, you're probably going to wait until after Thanksgiving though, right? Like you're not going to watch it on that day. I'm going to watch it on Thanksgiving. Yeah, she's not able to. We tend to get together every Thanksgiving. I'm on the holidays, yeah. So we're always at her house Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that anyway. So it's going to be a family affair. Got it. it, You know, in those moments, it's the most important thing to make sure that we're holding each other down and supporting each other as much as humanly possible. I I can't stress how much 
we've actually, and, and I said it in a post with Billboard, like, this happened seven years ago, mm-hmm. you know, but mm-hmm. we live this every single day. It right. still feels like it happened yesterday right. because there's been no closure. You know, we have his right. store in, in in Valley Stream that we we do his merchandise and, and keep his name alive. So it's not a day that goes by that, you know, Nelly is seeing the kids. There being in mm-hmm. like, it's something that you you just can't like put away. So, you know, we're, we're going to consume it with, with the rest of you guys and be as upbeat and as positive as we possibly can, you know, as a family. Hip Hop Homicides, uh, which airs on... We TV. We TV. On Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh, this is the Chinks uh, episode. What time is it air? Nine o'clock. Nine, Nine o'clock. o'clock. Okay. And uh, the new music with Chinks, when, when is that releasing one more time? We're doing December that. December 2nd. December 2nd. Oh, so. December. That's Two Chinks Drug 6. And yeah. I, I just want to let you guys know, I hope you're aware of how in our world and you know hip hop radio in New York how love Chinks is still like that 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 one it obviously we've lost a lot of artists but losing Chinks rocked everyone i mean i just hope you know he is talked about yeah. in the fondest terms possible great guy man great yeah. artist great guy uh and yeah no Thank he's you. definitely still missed uh Janelli Chinks uh we salute you rest in peace and bigs thank, thank you, you too sir Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank Hip-Hop guys. Homicides, Thanksgiving Thank Day uh, on We TV and December 2nd. Well, I'm sure you guys will get us some music so we can play it for the people, right? Absolutely. There Absolutely. it goes. Oh, definitely. <laughs>